Agile methodology is an increasingly popular approach to software development. It focuses on adaptive planning, early delivery, and continual improvement. Scrum ceremonies are specific events that help teams transition from one sprint to the next and ensure that their Agile goals are met. In this video, we'll look at what Scrum ceremonies are, why they're important, and how your team can benefit from using them. Agile methodology enables teams to respond quickly to changing conditions while still delivering excellent products. It relies on short cycles of work called sprints that teams use to plan, execute, and review their projects. During each sprint, the team must complete certain scrum ceremonies in order to transition smoothly into the next cycle. The four main scrum ceremonies are the sprint planning meeting, daily scrum meeting or stand-up, sprint review meeting and sprint retrospective meeting. Each of these ceremonies has a specific purpose and helps teams accomplish different tasks related to their Agile goals. The Sprint Planning Meeting is an important event where the team plans out what tasks need to be completed during the upcoming Sprint Cycle. During this meeting, team members discuss their roles and responsibilities for the upcoming cycle as well as what specific tasks need to be accomplished in order for them to reach their goals for the Sprint. This meeting should also allow for some collaboration on potential risks or challenges that may arise during the upcoming cycle so that everyone is prepared if something unexpected happens during development. The daily scrum meeting or stand-up is a daily event where team members provide an update on their progress from the previous day as well as any issues they're facing currently that might impact their ability to meet their goals for the sprint cycle. This meeting should also provide an opportunity for teammates to collaborate on solutions if any issues were identified during previous day's meetings so they can stay on track with their objectives for the sprint cycle. The sprint review meeting is usually held at the end of each sprint and provides an opportunity for team members to review what they have accomplished during this period as well as identify any areas of improvement or changes needed going forward into subsequent cycles of work. This meeting should also allow time for feedback from stakeholders who may have had direct involvement with developing or testing the product being delivered during this sprint cycle so everyone understands how it was received by its intended audience. Finally, a sprint retrospective meeting allows teams to reflect upon how things went during this particular period of work so they can make necessary adjustments before starting fresh with a new cycle of development. During this meeting, Team members should discuss successes and challenges encountered over this period so they know what worked well in terms of process or communication flow while also identifying areas where improvements need to be made before starting a new set of work items again in future weeks or months ahead. Scrum ceremonies are essential tools used by Agile methodology teams in order to achieve success with each new iteration of product development cycles and ensure that everyone involved is on track with their goals. Whether your project is large or small scale in nature, these events provide a great platform for collaboration between all parties involved in development cycles allowing everyone's efforts towards achieving successful outcomes. By implementing these rituals into your workflow you will not only improve project coordination but also optimize productivity through better communication which ultimately leads towards more successful product releases. Welcome to our video on Scrum Roles. In this video, We'll give you an overview of the specific roles that you may find in a Scrum team. So what is Scrum? It's a type of agile project management methodology that helps teams work together to solve complex problems. You can think of it like a rugby team. There are a variety of players with different skills, each one contributing in their own unique way, coming together as a team to achieve the ultimate goal. Scrum works the same way. Each role has its own set of responsibilities and each person contributes to the team's success. The first role we'll cover is the product owner. The product owner is responsible for managing and maintaining the product backlog, which contains all the tasks necessary for completing a project. The product owner also prioritizes tasks and sets deadlines for completing them. They are accountable for making sure that all stakeholders are kept informed on progress and that any changes or issues related to product development are addressed in a timely manner. The next role is the Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is responsible for overseeing the overall project, ensuring that all activities are running smoothly and that everyone is working together effectively. They also protect the team from any outside sources or pressures which might impede progress. This can include things such as facilitating daily stand-up meetings, managing expectations with stakeholders, 
addressing potential risk factors, and coaching team members on how to best utilize their skills and contribute to successful outcomes. The development team plays an important role in any Scrum project as well, they are responsible for actually developing the product itself. This involves breaking down tasks within sprints and writing code or designing solutions accordingly. Working closely with both the product owner and Scrum master they define what is needed in order to complete each task as well as provide feedback on progress throughout all phases of product development. Finally, there can be various other stakeholders such as executives or clients who may not be part of day-to-day -day activities but who will still need to be kept up to date on project progress and have input into major decisions or changes which might affect it. In conclusion, while each individual role within Scrum teams play an important part in successful product delivery it's important to remember that everyone has something unique to contribute, whether it's knowledge, experience, or ideas, which when brought together create an effective whole capable of efficiently solving complex problems quickly and efficiently. Welcome to our guide on becoming a successful Scrum Master. A Scrum Master is a valuable asset to any team, and understanding how to best support them is essential to ensuring success. We'll be discussing what it takes to be a scrum master and the salary you can expect. First things first, let's talk about what it takes to become a successful scrum master. To become a scrum master, you must have experience working with agile slash scrum development processes. You should also possess strong interpersonal skills, problem solving capabilities, excellent communication skills, and an understanding of software engineering principles and practices. Additionally, Having experience with multiple platforms such as .NET, Java, or web development can be beneficial for managing larger teams. As for the duties of a Scrum Master, their main job is facilitating and coaching the team so that it produces high-quality work in an efficient manner. They must ensure that the team adheres to agile principles and best practices throughout the entire project. This means understanding sprint planning, managing sprints and backlogs, grooming product backlogs, tracking progress across sprints as well as any risks or impediments that may arise during development. Additionally they must ensure that everyone on the team understands their roles and responsibilities while also providing support and guidance along the way. Finally they must be an advocate for agile practices within the organization by encouraging continual improvement through retrospectives or other techniques. Now let's talk about salary expectations for a successful scrum master. The average salary for a Scrum Master in the United States ranges from $60,000 to $120,000 depending on experience and location. However experienced certified Scrum Professionals CSP, can command higher salaries with some earning up to $160,000 or more in larger tech hubs such as San Francisco or New York. Additionally there can also be bonus opportunities depending on organization size or company performance during specific project timelines so it's wise to keep track of your achievements over time as this could help you command higher salaries in future roles as well. In conclusion becoming a successful Scrum Master requires knowledge of Agile slash Scrum processes combined with strong interpersonal abilities plus technical expertise depending on your role and tasks at hand. On top of that having experience across multiple platforms can help manage larger teams more effectively while also helping you reach higher salaries in larger tech hubs such as San Francisco or New York City where demand is higher than most places in the United States and world. Scrum certification is becoming increasingly popular amongst organizations and individuals looking to improve their knowledge and practice of project delivery. The Scrum Framework, developed by Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schwaber, provides a structure for project teams to better collaborate and deliver successful projects. By completing a Scrum certification course, you can become an expert in the art of delivering successful projects in shorter time frames with better quality results. The Scrum approach is based on the principles of iterative development, which means that it breaks down complex tasks into smaller pieces and works on them one at a time. This approach allows teams to be more agile, make decisions faster and adapt quickly to changing market conditions. The Scrum framework also encourages collaboration between team members by creating an environment where everyone can contribute ideas, ask questions, and get feedback from each other. A Scrum certification course will give you the skills you need to effectively plan, organize, and manage complex projects using the Scrum methodology. During the course, you will learn how to use Scrum tools such as user stories, sprint planning sessions, retrospectives, and burn-down charts to achieve your project goals. 
You will also learn how to create a product backlog that outlines all tasks needed for completion of the project. You will learn about different roles in a scrum team such as product owner, scrum master, and development team members. You will also gain an understanding of how these roles interact with each other during a scrum project. The certification course is designed to help you understand how Scrum works in real-life projects so that you can implement it successfully in your own organization or on your own projects. Upon completion of the course you will receive a certificate signifying that you have achieved expert-level proficiency in the use of the Scrum methodologies for project delivery. This certificate will be proof that you are capable of creating effective plans for successful project delivery using best practices such as prioritizing tasks based on customer value and conducting retrospectives at every sprint or major milestone. In today's competitive business environment organizations are constantly looking for ways to increase productivity while ensuring quality results are delivered on time. Achieving a certification in Scrum is one way that organizations can demonstrate their commitment to high standards of delivery excellence while providing their members with specialized knowledge in agile software development processes. So if you want to take your career or organization's success to the next level then obtaining a Scrum certification is definitely worth considering.